Close friendships, Gandhi says, are dangerous because friends react on one another and through loyalty to a friend, one can be led into wrongdoing. This is unquestionably true. Moreover, if one is to love God or to love humanity as a whole, one cannot give one preference to any individual person. This again is true, and it marks the point at which the humanistic and the religious attitude cease to be reconcilable. To an ordinary human being, love means nothing if it does not mean loving some people more than others. The autobiography leaves it uncertain whether Gandhi behaved in an inconsiderate way to his wife and children, but at any rate it makes it clear that on three occasions he was willing to let his wife or child die rather than administer the animal food described by the doctor. It is true that the threatened death never actually occurred, and also that Gandhi, with, one gathers, a good deal of moral pressure in the opposite direction, always gave the patient the choice of staying alive at the price of committing a sin. Still, if the decision had been solely his own, he would have forbidden the animal food, whatever the risk might be. There might be, he says, be some limit to what we will do in order to remain alive, and the limit is well on this side of the chicken broth. This attitude is perhaps a noble one, but in the sense of which I think most people would give to the word, it is inhuman. The essence of being human is that one does not seek perfection, that one is sometimes willing to commit sins for the sake of loyalty that one does not push asceticism to the point where it makes friendly intercourse impossible, and that one is prepared in the end to be defeated and broken up by life, which is the inevitable price of fastening one's love upon other human individuals. No doubt, alcohol, tobacco, and so forth are things that a saint must avoid. But sainthood is also a thing that human beings must avoid.